Hi friend, welcome to Nani and Friends Reading Room. Today we're going to read The Gingerbread Man by Eric Blair, illustrated by Ben Peterson. Please read along with me if you can. Thanks for joining me and let's get started. A little old woman and a little old man lived together in a little old house. They had no children, but they wanted one. One day, the little old woman made a gingerbread boy. Now I shall have a boy of my own, she thought. When the gingerbread boy was done baking, he jumped off the pan and ran out the door. The little old woman and the little old man ran after him. The gingerbread boy laughed and shouted, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And they couldn't catch him. The gingerbread boy ran until he came to a cow by the road. Wait, gingerbread boy, said the cow. I want to eat you. As the cow chased him, the gingerbread boy called, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And the cow couldn't catch him. The gingerbread boy ran until he came to a horse in a pasture. Stop, the horse cried. I want to eat you. The gingerbread boy only laughed. As the horse chased him, the gingerbread boy called, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And the horse couldn't catch him. The gingerbread boy ran until he came to some farmers in a barn. When the farmers smelled him, they cried, Don't run away, gingerbread boy. We'd like to eat you. As the farmers chased him, the gingerbread boy called, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And they couldn't catch him. The gingerbread boy ran until he came to a group of cowboys. The cowboys shouted, Slow down. We want to eat you. When the gingerbread boy was ahead of the cowboys, he called, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And they couldn't catch him. By then, the gingerbread boy thought no one would ever catch him. Soon, the gingerbread boy saw a fox coming across a field. The fox began to run after him. The gingerbread boy ran faster. The gingerbread boy cried, You can't catch me! And he ran away. The gingerbread boy shouted, I have run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a cow, a horse, a barn full of farmers, and a group of cowboys, and I can run away from you too. The fox said, I would not catch you if I could. I wouldn't dream of hurting you. Just then, the gingerbread boy came to a river. He could not swim, but he wanted to keep running away from the cow, the horse, and the people. Jump onto my tail, and I will take you across, said the fox. The gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's tail, and the fox swam into the river. The fox said, Gingerbread boy, I think you better get onto my back, or you might fall off. The gingerbread boy climbed onto the fox's back. After swimming a little farther, the fox said, Gingerbread boy, I'm afraid you will get wet. You better get onto my shoulder. The gingerbread boy stepped onto the fox's shoulder. A little while later, the fox said, Gingerbread boy, my shoulder is sinking. Will you please jump onto my nose? The gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's nose. When they reached the shore, the fox threw back his head and gobbled up the gingerbread boy. And that was the end of the gingerbread boy. The end. Thanks for reading with me. Reading is so much fun. If you want to read more books with me, subscribe to this channel or search for Nani and Friends Reading Room. Bye-bye.